Welcome to this week's episode of Now Learning. I'm BioMonkey. I'm Big Ant. And I'm Death Anquished. Back from another week off. Yep. Why were we off last week? Oh, because Ant over here was in Orlando riding roller coasters and shit. Dude, you're just jealous you didn't get to ride the Dumbo teabag ride. Leave it a ride. Besides, you two have been doing Now Loading by yourselves for years now. Why do you need me to be here to do an episode? That's right, why do we need Ant in his Dumbo teabag ride? I don't really know, he doesn't really bring us any views. Guys, come on. Ant, you're fired. That's fine, I'll go make my own mission on the source editor. It would look better than Reach. Yeah, kill him anyways. <laughs> Welcome to the Microsoft Mystery Event. Yeah, yeah. J just reveal the shit I don't care about already. Now, just let you know, the hardware isn't worth anything if it isn't for the software. Oh, oh, software that you build is exclusive and then give it to everybody else. This is the Microsoft Surface. Wasn't there already a Microsoft Surface? Looks good, right? It comes with a keyboard and trackpad. It supports a stylus. Seriously, dude? A, st a, a stylus? Wow, pulling out the 90s tech is a feature. Time to move on to the software. Okay, thanks for showing up. Goodbye. What, wait, wait what, what about the whole hardware not working without the software to support it? Ant, I'm tired of hearing you bitch about Microsoft. Bio, let me mourn in peace. EA will never stoop to sales like Steam does. Cutting games up to 75% off is a mockery to the hard work put in games. But it makes sense on games that are a few years older and don't sell anyways. I understand that, but doing reductions on that scale hurts the consumer's perception on how much a game should cost. That is actually true. But don't we do the same thing, but in the opposite direction? <laughs> Whatever could you mean? Well, don't we use piracy as a scapegoat to keep prices inflated at $60? <laughs> that is entirely different. My point still stands. We will not do any massive deals like that. Oh, it looks like Steam is about to start their summer sale any day now. Uh, uh, cut off shooters that were released over a year ago up to uh, 75%. What? You heard me. But you just said... I just said to cut off shooters released over a year ago by 75%. Fine. Done and done. <sighs> Try to outsail us now, Valve. Oh, wait. I guess they aren't doing the summer sale yet. Reverse the sale! Valve is bad and all that stuff. Too late. You now look like an idiot. Well, it looks like I'll have to pick up Left 4 Dead 2 for the Xbox 360 again. Oh yeah? Why is that? They just announced that the new Coldstream DLC will be released in late July. <laughs> no way. Took them long enough. Yeah, but last time they rushed a game, it ended up with a boycott. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about the Left 4 Dead 2 boycott. Whatever happened with that? It was just as successful as uh, Battlefield 3 and the Modern Warfare 2 boycotts. Oh, oh yeah, not successful at all though. You got it. You know, Battlefield 3's boycott was even less successful because 800,000 people have already bought premium. Ouch. Doing what you think is right just got struck a major blow. Dude, you said blow. Oh, 
Uh, Mr. Kotick, you asked for us? Black Ops is getting reserved by the ass load, but that's not enough. It needs to be a shitload level, maybe a fuckload for me even to be satisfied. How can we increase pre-orders? Well, why don't we announce a hardened edition already? I think a lot of people who have a leader waiting for a hardened edition announcement before they pre-order, because they don't want to risk being billed for another year of Elite when you may actually release a version that comes with another year. That is preposterous. Get out of my sight. Security, make sure he doesn't get out of the parking lot. What about you? What do you think we could do to increase pre-orders? Well, um, uh, yeah, we, we could give our most popular map from Black Ops a reskin and throw it in as a pre-order bonus. My god! A pre-order bonus. Why have we never thought about that before? <sighs> no idea. Yes, one map reimagined in the same engine it was just released in almost two years ago. It will be the biggest incentive in Call of Duty history. Really? Biggest? I thought getting Call of Duty Elite for free with a hardened edition would- Silence! Get out of my sight! Can I get one of those little brown boxes that I can put my stuff in? No! Barking at anybody. Is, is, is this the beer cat? The beer That's why he was so successful like, in totally. international fucking affairs. He would just show up and start barking at people. <laughs> China! China! Roll one of us with that car. It's like, it's like, okay, here's our trade negotiation. <laughs> yes, yes. That's why he was so successful. Okay. <laughs> All right. EA will never stoop to sales like Steam does.